Okay, I'm going to factor problems 6 through 10 on your review quiz. Number 6, x to the third minus x squared minus 2x. Again, I have a trinomial. I'm going to try and factor out a common monomial term if I can. And I see that I can. What's common to x to the third, x squared, and minus 2x? Well, it's x. Recall that the greatest common factor of a power is a, always the power raised to the smallest exponent, which is x to the first. So that's my greatest common factor. So I'm going to factor out an x. So x is one of the factors. Well, let's see here what I have left. x to the third divided by x is x squared. And x squared divided by x gives me x. And then negative 2x divided by x gives me a negative 2. Now I have a trinomial x squared minus x minus 2, which I'm going to try and factor as a product of two binomials. So x times x is x squared. Okay, again, I have a negative 2. The only way I can get a negative number is to take a positive and multiply it by a negative. Now the only factors that I have for 2 are just 1 and 2. And 2 will be negative. How do I know? Because the sign of the larger number, 2, will be negative. That second term sign tells me so. So my factors are a positive 1 and a negative 2. So completely factored. x to the third minus x squared minus 2x is x times x plus 1 times x minus 2. Those are my factors. Number 7, 16x squared minus 25. Here I notice that this is a difference of squares. And I'll factor this as, well, the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 25 is 5. So my difference of squares will factor as 4x minus 5 times 4x plus 5. So there. 16x squared minus 25, completely factored, is 4x minus 5 times 4x plus 5. Number 8. I have a trinomial. Let's see here if I can factor out a common monomial term. And I can. So 3 goes into 9, 12, and 45. That's my greatest common factor. So one of the factors I'll have is 3, and let's see here what we have left. 9x squared divided by 3 is 3x squared. And 12x divided by 3 is minus 4x. And negative 45 divided by 3 is negative 15. So I have a trinomial, 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. I'm going to try and factor that as a product of two binomials. 3x okay. squared, or well, 3x times x will give me 3x squared. Now this gets to be a little more difficult to factor. So what I have to do is write my factors of 3, the first term, which is just 1 and 3, and my factors of 15, the third term. They're 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. Okay. So I want to try and get to 4 that term right there. I want to try and get to 4, multiply that pair of factors by another pair of factors for 15. How can I get to 4? Well, I see how I can get to 4. What I have to do is take 3 and multiply it by 3, and that will give me 9. And then 1 times 5 will give me 5, and 9 minus 5 will give me 4. So that means I'm going to multiply 3 times 3. So remember, when you FOIL first terms, outside terms, 3x times 3 will give me 9x, and then 1 times 5 will give me 5. So my 5 will go there. All I have to do is figure out what is the sign of 5 and 3. One's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. Well, because I have a negative 4x here, I want my largest product to be negative. 
Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and that's larger than 1 times 5, which is 5. So 3 times 3 is going to have to be negative. So that means I need a negative there. And here's my positive. So completely factored. 9x squared minus 12x minus 45 is equal to 3 times 3x plus 5 times x minus 3. Number 9. Okay, I notice that this is a difference of squares. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. The square root of 16 is 4. So if I factor this as a difference of squares, this will be x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 4. Now hold on, I'm not done. x squared minus 4 is also a difference of squares. And I can factor that as x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then I have to break down my x squared plus 4. So completely factor, the factors of x squared, x to the fourth minus 16 is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x squared plus 4. Completely factor. And last, number 10, 4x squared minus 12x. Well, 4x squared is a perfect square, so 12, but 12x 12 isn't. So I can't factor that as a difference of squares. And it certainly is not a trinomial, so I can't factor it as a product of two binomials. I'll just look for a common term. Okay. Well, 4 is common to 4 and 12. That's the greatest common factor. And x is the greatest common factor of x and x squared. So I can factor out of 4x. 4x will be one of the factors. And let's see here what I have left. 4x squared divided by 4x just gives me x. And then 12x divided by 4x, oops, close that. 12x divided by 4x gives me 3. So completely factor 4x squared minus 12x is equal to 4x times x minus 3. Those are my two factors.